Hello, my name is Sandy with StampinSandy.com. Today I'm going to show you a card that I'm going to be making um, as a trade card. So I'm going to be making a bunch of them and hopefully getting a bunch of really neat ones back. So I hope you enjoy it and if you're one of the recipients, I hope you have a great time with it. Um, I'm going to be using the stamp set called For All You Do. I earned the trip last year and we went to Hawaii. And this was a stamp set that we got free and then it ended up in the big catalog. So I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to be using ink colors of Melon Mambo, one of the new ink colors. Also Rich Razzleberry right in there and also a little bit of Pumpkin Pie. The paper that I'm using is Melon Mambo. This is the Razzleberry Lemonade patterned paper. This is crushed curry, a little bit of rich Razzleberry. Whisper White, of course, Whisper White in there. Um, crushed curry again right there, and the ribbon is pumpkin pie. So let me go through the card, and um, hopefully you'll learn a few things along the way, and there might be even a couple surprises for you. I hope so. All right, I'm going to start, first of all, with that circle. Um, I have a different video, but I cut this circle using the Big Shot. It's about three and three quarters inches across. I'm not going to end up using the whole circle, but I will show you how I do that. Using my Melon Mambo ink and my stem from my stamp set for all you do, I'm going to ink this up three times. I want to get one pretty close to the top there and then one something like so. Alright, so that's done in Melon Mambo. Then I'm going to go back and add this little flower from the stamp set in Pumpkin Pie. And there's some stems that are just kind of hanging out there open and that's what I'm going to add that little Pumpkin Pie flower to. And there's one right up there, so that is that. Then for the flowers on there, what I need is a scratch paper of Whisper White. I'm going to be using two things for the flowers. I'm going to be using this polka dotted stamp, and I'm also going to be using this big flower, both of them out of that same stamp set for all you do. This stamp right here needs to be cleaned and um, it will need to be cleaned every time I use it. So that's cleaned up. This one I've used in Rich Razzleberry so that's fine. I'm going to leave it that way. For the flowers, what I'm doing is taking my Rich Razzleberry ink, inking up the flower, in that rich razzleberry, it looks like that. Then I'm stamping it onto the polka dots. The polka dots get a little bit of the ink and then that gets polka dotted. All right, I'm going to stamp that onto there. I will do that a second time for you. Before I go on to my second time, I need to take my cleaner pad, clean off that polka dot, otherwise I'm left with residue on there that will give off again. So I ink up my flower again, stamp it onto my polka dot, and stamp it onto my Whisper White cardstock. Using my paper snips, I am going to cut out those flowers. All right, I've gone ahead and cut out the two flowers. Here's one of them. What I'm doing to the center of the flower is taking the half inch circle punch, punching out a piece of crushed curry. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that onto my flower, like so. I'm going to use my 16th inch hole punch and punch a hole through the center. Add in a silver brad like that. I'm going to flip it back. All right. And on the back side of that flower, go ahead and add a couple of dimensionals. Um, I couldn't live without dimensionals. I, I love them. It's an easy and inexpensive way to add a little bit of lift to your card. All right. Go ahead and peel those off. Then I'm going to go back to my circle that I've already stamped and add one flower there. I have my second one ready to go here and that one gets added to the top like so. Okay? Alright, so that's what we have there. The other thing I would like to do to this circle is add a little sprig of rich razzleberry paper and I'm doing that with a scallop 
punched out with a circle punch. I'm just going to add some add some ink or uh, ink, some um, adhesive there, and I'm going to tie it in about right like that. All right, so I have my circle really completed. I'm going to head back to the card for just a second here. As I said, the card is made of a piece of melon mambo and also a piece of rich razzle berry, or not rich razzle berry, razzle berry lemonade patterned paper. All right. On this patterned paper, I'm going to put a little strip of the crushed curry. Notice that on the original card, the crushed curry only shows a little bit. So let's not waste paper behind here. Let's only cut a piece of crushed curry the size that we need. The size that seems to work well is a size inch and a half tall by about two and three fourths inches wide. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive to the back of that and add my piece of crushed curry paper there. Now I need to decide how is this going to fit and assemble well on there. All right, something like so. All right, before I do that, I'm gonna add my little strip of pumpkin pie ribbon and that's going to go right above the piece of crushed curry paper. All right, I've cut two pieces of pumpkin pie ribbon five inches long. I'm going to add a little adhesive to each end. All right, um, this end is going to go over there. All right, and this end is going to get wrapped around. I could have cut that a little smaller, I think. Four inch was, would have probably been plenty. All right, so it's going to look like so. Then the next thing I want to do is add my element to my card, and I'm going to put some adhesive behind there, and then I will show you how I cut that off. All right. I think I like it. I don't want to snuggle that little flower in there. So something like that. On a card like this, you'll never ever have two cards exactly like. That's just the way the ball rolls. All right, flip it over and now you can see exactly where your card should be squared off at. So just use your paper snips and snip along and snip off this edge. And now it is squared up again. All right. Back to my piece of rich razzleberry paper or um, melon mambo paper, and I'm going to put some adhesive on this square. By the way, this square of patterned paper is cut four by four. Um, you probably know that patterned paper comes in 12 by 12 packs, so by cutting it um, at a square, you maximize your paper. Um, if you cut it like four and a quarter inches, you get fewer papers out of one page of 12 by 12. If you cut your cardstock or your pattern paper four inches square, you will get 12 of them out of one piece. I'm just slipping that other piece of ribbon underneath there. Need to grab my scissor and trim the ends. And then the only thing that I have left to do for this card is add the little thank you. In the stamp set is a teeny little thank you. I liked it, but I wanted to make it a little bit wider. So what I did is stamped it on a scrap of Whisper White cardstock and cut it apart. Now what I'm going to do is just add a little adhesive to the back sides of both of those and um, just go ahead and add them to my card. All right. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and um, stop back and visit often. Again, my name is Sandy at stampinsandy.com.